and welcome to Tommy Talks TV, the place to be to build great love relationships. I'd like to say a huge thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. I really appreciate it because what you're doing is that you're helping the message spread further faster. So thank you very much indeed. Now today I'm going to be taking one of your questions and it goes like this. I have been married for seven years and it has slowly dawned on me that I am no longer in love with my wife. What can I do? Now, I'd like to start by saying that loving your wife is a choice that you have control over. It's not an emotion that you have no control over. Now, usually when we start off a relationship before we get married, we start off with all sorts of, you know, wonderful emotions. You know, you feel butterflies in your stomach. You feel excited when you think about that person. And that's usually what is called the feeling of being in love. But you can't base a marriage on that feeling of being in love because at some point you've got to actually make the step to loving your wife so at some stage in your marriage you've got to make the switch or the shift from an emotion driven commitment to a decision driven commitment and I think that's the place where you're finding yourself right now so you've got to make up your mind and commit to loving your wife and that's a decision that you have total and absolute control over now the second thing I'd like to say to you is this you need to ask yourself how have I changed because a lot of the time when we say we're not in love with someone it's not so much because they have changed it's because we have changed in certain fundamental ways so ask yourself have I changed the way I view my wife now usually before we get married you know all we see is you know the strengths of that person you know the wonderful things about that person but after we get married we tend to focus more on their weaknesses because the weaknesses become more obvious but the challenge with that is that if you focus more on your wife's weaknesses then your intolerance for her will grow but if you focus on her strengths which are still very much there then your love for her will grow so you need to focus more on your wife's strengths and not on her weaknesses the second thing you need to ask yourself is how am I speaking to my wife? Have I changed the way I speak to my wife? Because before you got married, you probably, you know, had, you took your time to express your affection and your love and your care for your wife. And she probably responded to that. But you see, very often after we get married, we forget all those little curtsies, you know, showing affection with our words. Your words can either build up your wife or they can pull down your wife. Your words can bring out the best in your wife or they can bring out the worst in your wife. So you need to be careful about the words that you're speaking to your wife. And the more you speak words of affection to her, the more you feel the affection in your heart. The third thing that I'd also like to say to you is that you also need to be thinking about how you're treating your wife. So have you changed the way that you're treating your wife? Because again, when we're courting a lot of the time, you know, we're very careful about the way we treat the other person. We try to think about what they would like. We anticipate their needs and we try to meet those needs. But usually after we get married, we tend to let those things slip. But we need to remember that marriage is not a license for taking each other for granted. So because you're married to your wife does not mean that, you know, all those little courtesies should go out of the window. And, you know, the more you treat your wife in a loving and caring manner, the more or she responds to that love and that care. The Bible says that you should nurture and you should cherish your wife. It makes a very big difference. And I'm sure that if you do all these things, it will make a huge difference in your marriage. And before you know it, you begin to recapture those feelings that you are talking about. Well, I hope this has helped you. If this has helped you, then leave me a message on Facebook or Twitter. And if you've got a question that you would like me to answer, then head on over to tommytalks.com forward slash ask and I'll answer your question next time. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>